on my screen you'll see a drawing that has two surfaces. In a previous video I made, I explained how to import uh, LiDAR data into Recap, process it in Recap, and then import it into Civil 3D. Now I'm going to show you how to take that point file that is now in Civil 3D and classify out the objects that you need in order to create an existing ground surface. The first uh, surface I want to talk about is this EG All Data Surface. This EG All Data Surface is a surface created from the point cloud without any filtering. The second surface is the EG surfaces, which is created from the exact same point cloud. However, it is filtered out to only show the ground data. Uh, to make life a little bit easier and smoother, I just took some screen captures of both uh, both surfaces so you can see them because going into the object viewer was processing a lot and slowing things down. So here is the EG all data surface. As you can see, it took everything, including you know treetops and every, you know basically anything that was scanned. However, when everything is filtered out properly, um, in this case, I'm only using the ground data points. This is the same exact surface. So let's talk about how to get this. Okay, so let me close this drawing down because I don't need it anymore. In this file, I've already imported the RCP, RCS file, whichever one I chose to use, whichever one you chose to extract out. Again, I've already ex covered that topic in previous videos. So here, I'm going to take my, uh, my point cloud and I'm going to filter out just the ground classification. All of this, though, is done within the map environment, map 3D environment. To do so, I'm going to turn on my map workspace. Uh, to turn on your map workspace, you can either come over here to the Home tab, come over here to the Palettes, and find the Map Workspace uh, Map Task Pane. Map is the Map W space, or you can type in Map W space Map W space at the command line. As you can see, it automatically filters it in for me, and then it's asking you at the command line whether you want to turn it on or off. I'm going to turn it on, and I'm going to be focusing in this dialog box right here in this this task pane I should say. I need to be in the display manager. Okay. Once I'm in the display manager I can come over here to data and I can add point cloud from my drawing object. I can now the the point cloud that I'm using is called a B cave. B cave is a city that I'm looking at here. And it's uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use that. And I'm gonna click OK. And you're gonna see that I now have the B cave data in here. Let me go ahead and zoom to that data. There we go. It zoomed out a little. Okay. I can then right click on this and I can go to point fill uh point uh filter point cloud. Okay. Here I can choose what I want to use. In this case, I'm going to use the ground data. And I'm going to filter that out and I'm going to apply the filter. So now I'm left with only the ground data. Once I'm done with that, I can simply select the point cloud. Remember, to select the point cloud, you have to select the edge. Okay? You select the edge of the point cloud, and you create surface from point cloud. At this point, you give it a name. I'm going to call this one EG. Okay? You give it a style. I'm going to hit Next. You determine if you want to filter out any points, point cloud area. If you just want to do one specific area, you can do a window here. You want to remove an area, you can do a window with that. Uh, you can just select the areas that you want. You can adjust the, the number of data, the number of points that will be used here. If you need to adjust this number, you can. The distance between the points is, is, uh, between the points is determined by your own personal preference or need. Okay. I'm going to take the defaults here and hit next. And since I know that I'm using ground data, I have I don't need to filter anything out. I'm going to use nothing but ground data points. So you also have to remember that the ground data that is classified in here comes from the scanner that was used to gather the data. As long as the scanner uh, scans and it can detect ground data, then you will have the ground data classification option in here. 
So therefore, I don't need to put a filter on it because all these points are from the ground data. And then I'm going to create the surface. You're going to get this notification. It's going to be processed in the background. I'm fine with that. And I can continue to work on other things. I'm going to go ahead and close this. And it's processing, and that's what's going on down here. And I can't show this to you, but this little icon right here, well, that mine's done already. This icon right here would have been processing for me. I can click here to zoom, and there's my surface. Okay. Now, at this point, I don't need the, the point cloud anymore, so I can just simply turn it off right here. Or, if I really want to make sure about it, I can go to my XREF dialog box, and I can just unload the point cloud. You don't want to detach it, because if you detach it, the surface can't read it anymore. Okay. I can just unload it, and I won't have it being processed in my drawing as well. So, it's a Maybe you want to do both just so you can make a drawing a little bit faster. But as you can see, my contours are showing just the ground data. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, let me know.